So now let's set up 40 client EMS for telemetry remote connection. So um, before we do this, we need to integrate 40 client EMS with 40 gate. So if you haven't uh, watched my video, I have a video for this. So for the sake of time, I won't repeat this. Just I'll put the link. Just look at look up this video. You'll see the link for how to integrate 40 client EMS. So this has to be done. Now, now let us set up 40 client EMS telemetry remote connection for 40 client users. What this means is that uh, for remote users, we need a situation whereby uh, they can the 40 client agents on their system that will be installed on their system should be able to consistently communicate with the 40 client EMS, uh, which we installed, um, you know, on the server on-prem so and the best way to do that is to ensure that we have a public ip address do a form of dnat to the private ip address of the 40 client ems on this port uh 8c13 which is the um which is the telemetry port for zn connection so like i mentioned you need to ensure that you have an fqdn uh you know that will be resolved to your public ip address which is very very important but for the sake of this video i don't have an ftdn i'll use the public ip address that i have so now uh log into fortigate on fortigate device no before fortigate let's log into fort client ems so on fort client ems we need to go to um user and uh, go to um, system settings, EMS settings. So on EMS settings, uh, we have li um, listing on IP. What this means is that your, uh, what's it called? Your, both your uh, on-prem users and remote users needs uh, an IP addresses that they will be listing on. If you check here, this has the internal IP address of the Fort Client EMS, but I, I selected all so that we can be able to use the FQDN uh, that we created to access, you know, uh, the store. So this is where you paste the FQDN. This FQDN is very important so that you can be able to enforce user verification for your remote users that they can be able to authenticate and share when when you share uh, their email with them for invitation, they'll be able to use the invitation code to you know connect to the Fort Client TMS. So we'll put the uh, put the uh, FQDN here. Then uh, at this point, so you put the you put the FQDN here. Then at this point, uh, the, uh we also scroll down. Uh, we also have to come to um. Uh, so you see, for the client download URL, this is once the email is sent to your users, they need a URL at which they can download the installer. So you want to select the uh, FQDN that you you know set up there, and with the with the port ten four four three as well. Then here as well, you want to enforce user verification, um, so that once user connect, they can uh, authenticate and you know with their LDAP um, credentials and and all that. So uh, everything is good here. Majorly, those are things you are you are meant to do. Then you click. Uh, you can also the host name here can can be changed to uh, EMS. Anything you want to give it that would also align with your subdomain and uh, FQDN. So now on 40 gates, we want to create a DNAT and uh, with uh, what we've already configured. So go to uh, network, uh, file policies, file uh, policies and objects, uh, VIP, so on VIP, you create new. Let's create new. So let's uh, name it EMS telemetry. So under this, we have the external IP address, which is uh, from here. We have uh, 102, 103, 102, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3. So we copy that. 
Then we go to the forty gate. Um, this is a external facing, um, external facing public IP address. Then um, don't forget this. The don't forget that your uh, FQDN will be resolving to this IP address. So you need to go to your uh, control panel, wherever you're hosting your domain and uh, ensure that the FQDN results to this. Then the internal IP address will be uh, this. Then paste it here. Then want to do port forwarding, which is on port 80, uh, 8013. So we have 8013 uh, and internal port should be 8013 as well. So click OK. So once this is done, go to firewall policies, create new, then name it EMS uh, telemetry. Then uh, incoming interface will be your uh, one interface. Then outgoing interface will be the interface where uh, the uh, where the EMS belongs to, which is for me, port no, this is port one, then 15.ar. Then source will be all, definitely, and destination will be EMS uh, telemetry. Then once that is done, um, services, because we did port forwarding, we can leave it as all because we only uh, respond on that port. But for the sake of production, you want to create your service as it it uh, four four three uh, as eighty thirteen. So uh, put it as eighty thirteen eighty thirteen. Then click OK. So we have that. Then uh, continue with every other thing sessions. Click OK. So now we have this as a nut. Yeah. Then um, now there is another thing we also need to do, which is uh, forty client EMS uh, installer, which means that when we send an email or to a remote user by inviting them, um, they will get, they will definitely uh, get the email and uh, how to download the fort client and install it. And the URL will be that will be in that email will be this uh, FQDN with the port. So we need to set it up. So which needs to resolve to this IP address and the port. So going to FortiGate again, virtual IP, you can clone this. Uh, then call it EMS, EMS, uh, what's a client installer. Then, uh, we see have this, we see have this, what will change is the port 10, port 4, 3. Uh, then four, four, three. Click OK. So we have this. Now we need to create a firewall policy for that. We can copy this and uh, paste upward, uh, paste above. So we have a, a copy of that. So we just edit as EMS forty clients. Installer. So now, uh, these are done, most especially for your remote users. So we have um, incoming interface, outgoing interface. Then destination will change to uh, the EMS installer. So afterwards, we also need to uh, create a service port for this, which is ten four four three. So you have to create it, uh, services, uh, then okay, uh, then four for three, then four for three. So click okay. Then we have this, then nuts, then uh, log traffic and enable 
the policy, which is okay. Now we have this two. So now we have these two tasks done. So now we have these two tasks done. So we need to test it. And the way to test it is go to Forty Client, uh, e uh, your Forty Client EMS. Then go to um, the invitations. You see invitations here. We need to send out invitations um, to your users. And um, in setting up invitations, uh, don't forget before we send out invitations, let's integrate. We need to integrate Forty Client EMS with your uh, domain LDAP. So. This needs to be installed and you know integrate to your LDAP. If you haven't watched um, how I do that, I've I have a video on how to integrate for the client uh, with LDAP uh, server and also do that. So with this, you can be able to you know ensure that all your users are within the domain and they can be able to authenticate when you send them the inf uh, the information. So you can watch it. Uh, is a play? I have a playlist of that, so you just go check it out. Then. Go to invitation under invitation. We we'll create an uh, ad. So here we create. Um, let's say we uh users. Then we have uh, what we the FQDN that we created. Now we need to create an installer um, under this. So create plus. Then let's name it remote users so uh this as so definitely your 40 client ems should have access to the internet uh during the installation of 40 client ems uh we have to create a gateway for that which i did you can watch it what the video as well is a part of the playlist so select and also let it have the latest patch you can also ensure that you have an auto uh auto update to latest patches and all that then click next so ensure all these are selected because they are very important you might not need them or might not activate them at the end of the day but let them just uh you know be checked you know Fort client is a unified agent that's you know supports different uh, form of security services and which is very useful both endpoint protection uh vulnerability scanning for patching um security endpoint uh, security and anti ransomware uh, single sign on mobility agent and all sort of you know functionality including zero trust network access so all these are enabled so click next so let's enable shortcut for the user and also include uh you know msi installer uh, files then um every other thing can be left as as default, uh, as default, just click next, then finish. So once this is done, uh, once this is done, uh, you click verification type. So under verification type, I want to use domain, which is our domain, and click. So once you save, you'd see that uh, for the client, um as the invitation code set for your users then you can now um send so you can have uh you know a couple of users to send to and um let's send to someone which is so once this is done click send email like this will be sent to you and you would see activation and you see how to download the 40 client and afterward you'll see the uh, invitation code uh, you can copy the inv invitation code after you're done downloading the uh, the after you're done downloading the downloading the agent and installing it on on, uh, on your system so in doing that would you know, so after copying it, once you're able to, uh, the user has been able to install the 40 clients and your uh, fully qualified domain name for your EMS uh, server is in place, then the, and you've been able to set up, set it up from the EMS settings and um, the user needs to now paste the uh, code in this, um, in this 
box for the invite code, then click on connect. Oh, the user has been able to successfully um, connect. And uh, when you come to, so when you come to what's uh, authenticator and you come to dashboard and you see, we have a world user account and we can also come to all endpoint and see the user as well. So this is the user uh, connecting from the home and all that. 